children. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Welcome to Sunday School. Today's topic is the woman at the well. This story is taken from John 1, 4, 1 to 26. Let's begin lesson 13. One day, Jesus was sitting at a well because he was tired from his journey. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said, Will you give me a drink? The Samaritan woman was confused. Jews and Samaritans did not get along. So she said to him, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? Jesus answered, I want to give you living water. Again, the woman was confused. Uh, Jesus wasn't really talking about water at all. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. He will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, I will speak to you. I'm he. To find out more, read John 4, 1 to 26 in your Bible. The Woman at the Well Hello there, and welcome to Question Time. Question number one. Are you ready? Yeah! I know you are. All right. Why was Jesus sitting at the well? Jesus sat at the well because he was tired, having walked all the way from Judea. Great job, you guys. Good for you. Question number two. What did Jesus ask the Samaritan woman for? Jesus asked her for some water to drink. Very good. You are right. Good job. Question number three. What is... Drum roll. Louder. Louder. Very good. What is the living water that Jesus was telling the Samaritan woman about? The living water is the symbol of the Holy Spirit and what is to come after Jesus' death and resurrection for anyone who believes in him. Yes, you got it. Question number four. Why do you think Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman? I think Jesus indirectly used her to announce his presence in Samaria as the long-awaited Messiah they have been waiting for. Hmm, let me think about that. I love that answer. Good job. Can I get another? Jesus spoke to her because he cared. You see, by speaking to her, Jesus saved her soul from perishing due to her sins. Excellent. Very, very good. All right, let me get another. I believe he spoke to the Samaritan woman so that through her words to the people, many would believe in him as the Messiah sent from God. Your answer makes me want to sing oh. <laughs> Great job. All right. one more personally uh-huh i feel that was jesus's way of showing the people that he cares about everyone ah uh -huh. and he doesn't discriminate regardless of how great our sins are as long as we're willing to repent he's willing to forgive yeah, yeah. A big wow. Wow, you guys. You did an excellent job today. Come on, pick this up. Come on, big All right, guys. That wraps it up for our Q&A session. It is now time for... Ta -da! Games and activities. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. 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 Bye.
Hello, you are in the activity room. Here's your challenge. Collect all the letters of the same style, then unscramble them to form seven words. Arrange them to tell you something great about God. Here's your super challenge. Jesus met a woman at a well. He asked her for a drink of water. She was surprised when he told her all about her life. She had never seen him before, but he knew all about her. The woman ran back to town shouting that she had met the Messiah. Look at these two pictures. They may look the same, but there are five things different in the second picture. Circle the differences. Here's your bonus super challenge. Cross off the letters. Cross out every other letter. Write the remaining letters on the lines below to reveal the hidden message. Time is ticking. Are you ready? Let's begin. You did it! Yes! Hello there, I'm Nathan. And I'm Pixel. Welcome to Scripture News. Our word of the day is living water. The rivers of living water Jesus was referring to is the Holy Spirit working in and flowing out of the life on a believer. Holy Spirit who dwells in believers and seals them for salvation, if the science 113-14. It is the ministry of the Spirit, flowing out of a heart redeemed by God, that blesses believers and, through them, brings life and light to the world. John 4, verse 9 and 10 says, Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Verse 13 and 14 of John chapter 4 says, Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Wink if you get it. Thanks, Matrix. Here's today's memory verse. 
Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within. John 7:38. That wraps it up for Word of the Day and Memory Verse Session. Make sure you remember it. Let's review today's memory verse. Okay. Let's remove some words. Time's up. Great job. Hello, kids. It's time to bring the Word of God to life. Are you ready? Yes! Let's look at John 4. 14. But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Say, Lord Jesus, I am thirsty. Feel me. Let your living water flow over my soul. So the Holy Spirit may direct me and take control of my every step. In Jesus' name. Amen. There you have it. The Word of God comes to life in you. Go in love and obedience in Jesus' name. What was today's story about? today's memory verse in the Bible. today's memory verse mean to you? Uh-huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Great. You paid attention. We are so proud of you and you should be too. Pastor, how have you been? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm good. Glad to know you're doing fine too. I dropped your mails in the mailbox already. I just had to stop by to say hello. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Guess whose birthday it is this week? Yes, you guessed right. Happy birthday. Many glorious years to come in Jesus' name. All right, children, that concludes our lesson for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for all the listening ears and hearts you touched. May your words continue to be engraved in our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Now, don't forget to share this story with a friend. All right? Yay! Okay, I'll see you next week. Yes, yes Mommy, Mommy Pastor. Pastor. Bye.